you know, I wasn't even gonna make this video, you know, but it's been a few days. What's going on, everyone? It's Curtis here. Um, yeah, like I said, man, I wasn't even gonna make this video. As you guys all know, uh, but a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video because you guys know, you know that Danny Wilbeck is my favorite player, was my favorite player. Um, he, um, he's been my favorite player since Cristiano Ronaldo left United. He's, um, I get a lot of stick, a lot of stick, even till now. Everyone always says to me, why, do you, why is Danny Wilbeck your favorite player? He's so shit. He's so shit. He doesn't score enough goals. What? Just because you, you need a world-class player to be your favorite player? Man, you could have anyone your favorite player. Hell, man, you can have... Who's, you know, you can have, you know, Bettner as your favorite player. You can have Fernando Torres as your favorite player. Just because a player is shit doesn't mean that they can't be your favorite player. And Danny Wilbeck was not shit. Mate, Danny will. I was forever, forever, forever sticking up for Danny. Always, always. Um, man, I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I'm gutted. You know, when when the deal first happened, when it got announced that Wilbeck was um, leaving, when we were getting Falcao, the news was about Falcao coming through. I was like, oh, mate, Falcao, world-class player. Mate, get him in, get him in. Mate, without even thinking that Danny Wilbeck would go. I would honestly, I honestly thought, because we got rid of Hernandez, we got rid of Kagawa, you know, that plays on the left, you know. I think, mate, we thought we might get rid of Ashley Young, but it did not hit me. I knew we were looking to loan out Wilbeck, but man, I did not know we were going to sell Danny for good, for good. And when I heard the news, I was like, I heard he was going to Arsenal. That's how I first, I heard, oh, he's going to Arsenal. I'm like, oh man, that's a good loan spell. You know, that the Arsenal need a striker. That'll be perfect, you know? And once that loan's finished, you know, he'll come back. But then I was hearing more and more, this this ain't a loan deal. This, this is for good. And I was like, what? But then I'm thinking, man, Wayne Rooney, Robin Van Persie, Falcao. We don't even have Champions League football. Where is Danny gonna be playing? He's 23 years old now. He needs to be playing week in, week out. Mate, <laughs> breaks my heart, breaks my heart. I've got no luck when it comes to favorite players at United. No luck whatsoever. Every single one of my favorite players ever at United, they've all left, man. They've all left. They haven't retired gracefully, they've all left the club. First favorite player I've ever had at United, Andy Cole. A lot of you guys are probably young because a lot of you guys probably won't remember Andy Cole, but we got him from Newcastle. He was he was a good solid striker for Newcastle. Nothing special. He was good. Nah, I wouldn't say he's nothing special. He was good. He was very good. I think he even won the golden boot. And when Newcastle gave him to United, a lot of people are like, why, why, why is that happening? But they had Alan Shearer lined up, so Newcastle fans weren't too angry at the fact that they gave us Andy Cole. And Andy Cole was a superstar for us. His partnership with Dwight York is one of the best in United's history. And Andy Cole, my favorite player, stuck around for a few years, and then we sold him to uh, Blackburn. And uh, I was gutted when it happened. I was gutted. I was like, mate, mate. And then my second favorite player, I'm like, all right, I need a new favorite player now. And this is what, and this is how I fell in love with the number seven, David Beckham, favorite player, mates. And I will, I will, I would admit this live on YouTube, or not live. You're probably watching this. Who knows when? But I'll admit this on YouTube. The day David Beckham left to go to Real Madrid, I cried. I cried like a little girl. Ah, oh, man, that was that was heart wrenching. That was. Ah man, I was in high school. <laughs> I took that bad. I was I was I was gutted, mate, when that happened. But um The next favorite player of mine, probably not probably, is my favorite player of all time. This guy will go down in history. No one will ever beat this guy. I don't care if, if I'm 70 years old and another guy comes 50 years later. 
forever, Cristiano Ronaldo will be my favorite player of all time. Why? Because I seen him when he's 17 years old at Sporting Lisbon come to United. How can I say it? I'm 27 years old. Cristiano Ronaldo is 29. We kind of the similar the same age. We kind of grew up together. I was like, he was like, when he was 17, I was like 15. So as he was getting older, I was getting older. I seen his debut. I seen every single game. Cristiano Ronaldo, my word, I love this guy. And I loved him. A lot of you guys probably won't remember, won't remember this, but Cristiano Ronaldo, when he first came into the Premier League, he was a hated man. Everybody hated Cristiano Ronaldo besides the United fans. But I tell you what, as he went on, as he went on, mate, he just gained more respect, more respect, and boom! Sold him to Real Madrid for, back then, was a world record fee, and gutted, man, gutted. Again, probably worse, probably worse than Beckham. I cried again, I cried. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but yes, I did cry the day Ronaldo left to go to Real Madrid. Ronaldo, I think it was oh, July 29th. I can't remember the date, man, but pff, gutted, man. Gutted. I, I remember exactly where I was, man. I was just in hysterics, mate. Oh, mate. And then and after that, I didn't have a favorite player for a while. I thought, you know what? I'm not having a favorite player. I'm just going to support the team. And see how that goes. And mate, this kid, Danny Wilbeck, I seen his debut while Ronaldo was still playing. Ronaldo, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I this is how much I love Danny Wilbeck. When Ronaldo scored his hundredth goal for United against Stoke when he went like that. Mate, a little kid called Daniel Wilbeck scored his debut goal for United. On his debut was a cracker outside the box. Mate, this skinny little black kid, I'm thinking, oh, wow, mate, he's from Manchester. This kid's a real lad. Mate, I'm thinking this kid's going to be special. I can't wait. And then I wasn't going to commit to him then, but, mate, always just, I, I, every time I seen him, I liked him more, liked him more. And, you know, I got to 2012, and I thought, man, stuff it. United, we just born in Kagawa. We just born in Van Persie. Everyone's getting Van Persie and Rooney Tops. If you remember this season, 2012-2013 tops. Not me, man. Not me. Mate, I, uh, I just loved him, man. I just loved Danny Wilbeck, mate. And it's so sad. I knew getting Van Persie was going to hinder Wilbeck's uh, his career at United. I just knew getting Van Persie because I knew Hernandez was going to be on the bench more. And if Hernandez is going to be on the bench more... You know, Danny Wilbeck's not even going to get a go. And, and not even get a go. When he does play Wilbeck, he's being pushed out wide. You know, so... Mate, people always go on about how shit his goal-scoring record is. Mate, he's been playing as a striker since he was eight years old. And finally breaks it into the first team. And where did we put him? We put him out on the wing. He doesn't even know how to play on the wing. But obviously now, you know, a few years experience. He's not bad on the wing. He's got a bit of pace about him. Stick him up front. That's where he belongs. Now, he's moved to Arsenal. I didn't cry. <laughs> now that he's moved to Arsenal, he's going to play it out now. And I tell you what, mate. I hope what happens to him is the same that happens to other English players. Like Andy Cole, when he got his chance at United, he took it. Became a superstar. Daniel Sturridge, just have a look at him now. Mate. Man City was piss fighting around with him. Chelsea were piss fighting around with him. Man, he went alone to Bolton. Look at him now at Liverpool. He just, man, he's just excelling. And I really hope the same happens to Danny Wilbeck. I know I hate Arsenal, but mate, I have so much res respect for Danny Wilbeck. I just, I just feel gutted for the lad. And a lot of you guys are tweeting me. Oh, did you see what he said about United? Mate, well, he didn't say nothing about United, first of all. He just said... Oh, I've envisioned, envisioned myself playing for Arsenal. Mate, what do you want him to say in the first club um, interview, you know, for Arsenal? Oh, you know, I love United. Um, yeah, it's a shame it didn't work out there, but oh, well, I'm here now, you know. Mate, if you watch his first interview, go and watch it. It's on the Arsenal's website. He just looks shocked. He looks gutted. He doesn't even look happy. He's just stuttering all the time. He's like... Yeah, the lads are all right, you know, they won the FA Cup last year, you know. Mate, 
Arsene Wenger has got himself a player here. All right, the price tag is not what you guys wanted to pay at Arsenal, but that's Arsene Wenger's fault. Mate, if you really want a Wilbeck, you could have got him cheaper earlier, but that's a whole nother discussion. Daniel Wilbeck, mate, from the bottom of my heart, mate, I hope it really works out for you at Arsenal. If it doesn't, please come back. We'll take you back, man. And we'll stick you up front. Hopefully Van Persie's gone by then. And you and could be our main man, mate. That's what I'd love. But I uh, can't see that happening. But, uh, mate, hope it works out for you for Arsenal, mate. You're a truly talented lad. Manchester, born and bred. English lad. I just wish it had worked out. I just wish. But unfortunately, life doesn't go the way it's planned. And again, my favourite player is sold. Gonna need a new favorite player now. Good luck, Danny. And just as I finish this video, I go to look at my phone and I've just realized, because I've been talking about Danny Wilbeck, mate, it's been almost a week and I forgot to change my background cover on my phone. It's still Danny Wilbeck. <sighs> Good luck, Danny.